Set. They're off over a mile and a half. Slow together, stride, kiss you later. This is the Petty Par Stakes. It's a group three. A field of nine runners, Beamish, Edel of Tyrone, the stable companions, closely followed by Point King. On the outside is Bluegrass with the Grey Thunder Kiss, followed at the first turn by Lafayette. Duke de Sace in the white cap on the outside of Pediton. Kiss you later, the back marker. Edel of Tyrone coming off a huge run in the Eber. Presses ahead by less than two lengths to Point King on the outside, sharing second with Beamish. A clear running fourth is Bluegrass and then Thunder Kiss, Duke de Sace. And Lafayette as they race inside the nine furlong point. And as Edel of Tyrone, the leader from Point King, unbeaten in three this term. In third place is Beamish, then Bluegrass. Next is Thunder Kiss, followed by Duke de Sace with the back three, Lafayette Pediton, and Kiss You Later. Little changes with less than a mile to go. And it's Edel of Tyrone, the leader, Billy Lee, tracked by Point King and Shane Cross. Third on the rail is Beamish and Declan McDonough, the stable companion of the one in front. And then Bluegrass and Ryan Moore. On the inside is Thunder Kiss and Colin Keane, denied a neck 12 months ago as they race towards the halfway stage and coming inside it. It's Edel of Tyrone, leading a well-stacked upfield to the end of the back straight, followed by Point King, Beamish next, then Bluegrass nudged along on the outside of Thunder Kiss, followed by Duke de Sace, Lafayette, Pediton, and Kiss You Later, last of the nine with five furlongs to go. Edel of Tyrone continues in the lead from Point King, a narrow second on the outside of Beamish, followed by Thunder Kiss. Struggling to keep position is Bluegrass on the outside, with less than four furlongs to go, working back for the approach to the straight in the group three, Paddy Power Stakes, a mile and four. The leader is still Edel of Tyrone from Point King, the white cap on the outside of Beamish, followed by Thunder Kiss, poised in behind those three, driven in fifth as Bluegrass, then Duke de Sace, Kiss You Later has picked off two at the back of the field Lafayette and Pediton. Heads turned for home there at the top of the straight with just over two to go. Edel of Tyrone's come under pressure. Seeding through on the inside is Thunderkiss the Grey. Beamish next. A bit of a break to Duke de Sace who's running on but gone for home is Thunderkiss as they race towards the final 200 yards from Beamish on the outside cutting loose as Duke de Sace Thunderkiss from in the centre. Beamish, Duke de Sace the near side, Sterling finished, Thunder Kiss, Duke de Sace in the centre was Beamish, Periton finished off well, close up in behind the first three and fourth. Cedar Trilling finished her mile and a half Paddy Power Stakes with Duke de Sace stepping up in trip, returning to the track where he excelled last year, getting up in the last stride, well done Derwald. <laughs> yeah it was close, um, you know he's had a break, he loves that ground, mm. he loves this track, the only question in my mind, he's been working exceptionally well. Uh, the only question I had was whether he'd get the mile and a half. I toyed with running him in the champion stakes mm. and uh, just as we top it, hopefully it would be the easier option. But if he got the trip, he'd be very hard to beat. That last run behind Acal was very encouraging, but the rain arriving, as you said, that last two furlongs was probably the question mark at a mile and a half. Definitely, that was a big question was, but he, Chris gave him a beautiful ride. He switched him off at the back, which was the plan, and uh, he came home very strongly. Very, very good performance and a uh, bit of a confidence booster of course ahead of home the songs during the matron stakes today true indeed it is indeed but you know there's different horses they've been doing different work and uh, as i said he'd been working exceptionally well how is the mare she's well i'm happy with her but it's her first run for a long time and it's the beginning of an autumn campaign i keep stressing it <laughs> there's more than today physically uh, do you think she's matured a bit since we've seen her last she has she has she's a powerful big filly you'll see her shortly look forward to that well done there thank you Right, Chris Hayes, me, Chris Hayes joins me after after that success. I'm, I'm told it must be nice to be interviewed by someone who isn't Fran Berry for a yeah, start. Yeah, delighted proper interviewers coming over here, and proper race and personality. So yeah, welcome, welcome <laughs> to Leperstown. Hey, listen, well done there. You timed that spot on. Yeah, look, things things worked out well. The one thing we were worried about was was he going to settle, which he did. We knew the ground to be in in his favour. He worked unbelievably well the other morning. I've been telling connections all along. As soon as he gets off ground, he'll win. So thankfully, he did. He just caught me a little bit by surprise. When I let him go, I thought he was going to quicken. But all he done was gallop. So I'd have held my hands up if I got it wrong. Looking at the times, I mean, it just seems proper soft ground. Is that how it feels to you? Yeah, it's demanding ground. It's, it's testing. And I think that's what played into his strengths. Okay. Um, the lads that look after him, Dylan looks after him. 
Dean rides him out every day. They've done a great job settling him. We have a wonderful bunch of staff and the credit goes to them because between them and the boss, he, he was quite keen at the start of the year and they've done a, a marvellous job for him to settle as well as he did and, and to stay that trip. And the job they're doing him, he might get a bit further. Dermot's horses are in fine form. I've just heard him interviewed by Fran there stressing that with regards Homeless Songs, this is her first run back for an autumn campaign. How much is that at the forefront of your mind going into the matron? Uh, look, uh, obviously it's been well publicised. She's got a break. The ground hasn't really been in her favour. Um, she's been trained brilliantly. She's doing things marvellously. I have the utmost confidence in her. I think she'll win. And if she doesn't, she's going to give one heck of a show mm. and she'll improve from it. I think probably that's what the boss is stressing. She is going to improve. So whatever she does, she'll go down all guns blazing and she will improve. From it. What's your feeling about stool two? Would, would you not have picked that or are you happy with it? Funny enough, Dylan rides her out and he said to me, where would you like to be drawn? And I said, right bang in the middle because it gives you options. But it is what it is. You saw us there. When the ground is like that, they're going to flick out in the straight anyway. My, my, my main concern is to get her, her to do things right, get her to settle. It is her first start of an autumn campaign. She's going to be fresh. And that's why I rode her the way I did in the Guineas trial and again in the Guineas. So if she, provided she isn't over keen in my hands, I'll see what the boss wants to do. He told me the way to ride that lad, so he knows more than I do. Got that right. Cheers, Chris. What up? Thank you. Bye.